Okay, so this is writing advice for aspiring writers who may suffer from writer's block. I'm a writer myself, I published uh, two books, I'm writing two books right now, and I feel like maybe some of you are experiencing this writer's block that is so, you know, it, it's a bad ticket, right? You want to finish your work, you want to write every day, but you can't. Something is uh, not working, right? <clears throat> So this, I, I only have two options, two solutions for you if you're suffering from writer's block. Number one, you set aside your work for a couple of weeks and uh, leave it alone, do something else, have some fun, and then come back to it. And maybe that will spark something, some excitement so that you can continue on uh, writing. That's number one. And the second option is, uh, which I'm trying right now, and I feel like it is working for me, which is, I have been writing a big novel. And I've uh, stumbled upon a few problems in the writing process. I wasn't excited. I wasn't that giddy. It, the words did not flow. And I've made a crazy decision. I decided to write another book while writing the first book. So I'm writing two books right now. One is a big novel, one is short, about 200 pages. And I found that this probably is the best solution that we as writers can have. So you start off with your first novel. You write, it goes well, and then when it stops flowing, you go to the other one. And you'll be excited for that one, and you will keep on writing and it will flow, and when you get tired of it, or bored of it, you go back to the first one, and so on and so forth, back and forth, and I feel like this is the best way to uh, invigorate and stimulate, you know, uh, your appetite for, you know, writing, and uh, it will revitalize your imagination and your creativity, and it will just make you uh, interested and excited in your own writing, right? Because if you focus, uh, you know, I have some experience because I've, I've uh, written a couple of books. If you focus too much on a single story for months or years, right, you will inevitably be bored, okay? It is what it is. You will unavoidably be bored by your own story by the writing it is what it is so you either take a break or start another one right but the second one i have to stipulate this the second one has to be way shorter you know make it fun make it sarcastic make it make it a piece of satire something that is different from your first book right because my first book is really serious the second one is you know uh it has a different tone right this is a this is a form of multitasking as a writer uh, and listen i do not normally suggest this i am old-fashioned i think that you as a writer should stick by your book finish it and then start another that's me that has been my mindset for 10 years now but i've realized that if you are bored with this book that you've been concentrating on for so long that the best way for you is to either leave it alone or start another one. But listen, and this is a disclaimer, you should write only two at a time. Anything more is too much. You will be lost in the timelines. You will be lost in the plots. Only two, that's the maximum. Okay, that is the maximum. Otherwise, the quality and the standard will drop significantly, okay? Two at a time, that is two at a time tops, okay? Nothing more, no projects, no side quests, okay? And listen, your second book can be anything. Like I said, it can be satire. It can be, you know, a collection of short stories. It can be, you know, a collection of poems. It can be even, you know, uh excerpts from your philosophy or whatever it can be anything right 
because there is no other solution as a writer okay there is no solution that I have found and no matter what book on writing you read uh, there isn't any real advice beside what I've told you you know you can try listening to music you can um, you know get a bit drunk whatever it may help it may help but in the long run it won't okay it won't and listen if you're serious about your writing, you know that distractions aren't the best thing ever. So uh, I wouldn't suggest that you should start, you know, watching movies, uh, TV shows, playing video games, etc. If you're serious about your writing, because as a writer, you just want to finish the damn thing. I mean, my first book, my first novel took seven years and... Throughout that writing process, I had moments where I, where I was just bored, I was procrastinating, I was just almost done with it a couple of times, but because I was old-fashioned in my thinking, I didn't consider that I should maybe write another one, you know, to kind of stimulate the creative juices, right? I mean, you don't want to spend, like, crazy amounts of years, you know, writing a single book right? I mean, it might be good, but on the other hand, you're gonna lose a lot of time, a lot of precious time, and time should not be wasted, right? If you're gonna spend your precious time on, on writing, your writing should be the best that it can be, okay? And listen, like, writing writer's block is just the worst, just the worst, and we got to find a way to keep it at bay uh, in any way we can, right? So this has been a little advice, you know. Hopefully it will help you as aspiring writers to produce something of worth, right? So that's about it. Thanks for watching and uh, see ya!